um, co-worker issue. I live my life out loud. That's just the way it is. Some things I just, um, I cannot, it's hard for me to deal with. One thing is disrespect with co-workers, okay? So, huh, I am impromptu right now. And yes, I am going live and I could care less. This is my life. And I just want to make sure that I'm on point where I'm, how I'm handling my, if I'm, I'm going to come back and watch this. We'll see. I'm going to have it on audio. Thanks, Gary. Copy. I'm going to have it on audio right now. Then I don't do that. Is that for? Thanks, Gary. And just tell her, um, stay on the walk. You missed Blake is in a meeting, please. Well, she responded. Okay, I responded to the code blue. Right. In 104. Right. And when I got in there, everything was just a little bit out of hand. The kids had taken a chair, and we were trying to get it under control. Okay, but I'm I still don't have that good of rapport with this side. Mm -hmm. And so the kids weren't really responding. I was trying to make them calm down, yeah. you know, so we can give the teacher the respect because she's there. And I just feel like they need to be a little bit more respectful. So right. when Miss Almarca came in, it was, she, when, okay, when she came in, it was first, her first impression to me was kind of negative because she was like, she was like, um, Basically, you need to quit talking to the kids like that. But she was talking to the teacher on how her interaction was. Okay. And so that kind of, ooh, I didn't say nothing. Okay. I was trying to still have the, you know, the scholars calm down. And then um, one of the scholars called Miss Gibson a bozo right. and walked out. And then, um, and so I just, I felt like, okay, well, he needs to apologize to the teacher for that. You know, right. that was a little out of pocket. And then she was like, well, I need to have him calm down first. And then she had said something. I don't remember verbatim because it happened so fast. Yeah. But whatever she said to me, it was in front of the scholars. Right. And so I just was like, okay. Like, I'll, like okay. I'll talk. She had already turned around. So it was like, I did my hand up like, I'm a, oops, let me catch my words. Right. It was one of those... I, okay, I'm not going to respond to what she was saying to me. Right. Because I'm not putting on a show. I'm here to do my job, and I do it well, I feel. So she has a problem with me, and she has a lot to say about me, and, and I'm okay with that. Okay, so... I mean, I'm not okay with that. I have a problem with that, right. but I don't let it get to me. So I'm going to talk to Ms. Salamanca, but I, I, here's, here's my biggest issue. Okay. I don't want us as adults to be arguing in front of the scholars. Period. Right. I, I need I, I need the, the scholars to know that we're always on the United front no matter what happens. Yes. And if there is a really big issue, you know, there's always moments where we can mediate the situation as adults. Okay. Whether there we need a third person in there and yes. we can just communicate effectively. I remember Mr. Gambino sitting down with y'all and having this conversation about really number one going to the source. And then, you know, there's just a level of professionalism we have to maintain no Absolutely. matter what. We Absolutely. don't have to like everyone we work with, but we got to show us, show them respect the same way we expect our kids to show us respect. Yes. Um, so I'm going to have a conversation with Ms. Alamanga. In order to diffuse the situation, I want you to focus on just doing code blues for that side today um, and allowing um, Salamanca and Denny to do code blues on this side. So that there's no crossing over, no one stepping on each other's toes. I have no problem with that okay. at all. Now, I mean, I, I would like for you to also um, get the side for Miss Gibson because she's my constituent and I just feel that she was disrespected by Miss Salamanca. Yeah, I, I'm going to talk to Miss Gibson for sure. I'm going to okay. be in there. I'm going to support her. Thank you. Um, okay. I just wanted to make sure I, I put space with all of y'all and okay. help everyone understand uh -huh. that there's just a level of respect and professionalism we have to maintain no matter what. So when I talk to Miss Salamanca, I'm going to tell her the exact same thing. I do not want to argue with her.
Yes. I and if y'all do need to have a private one on one conversation, have that private one on one conversation. If you feel like it's going to go sideways, make sure you invite someone else in to mediate the situation. I tried to, I tried to initiate a one on one conversation, and she just says that. I don't remember, listen, I have so many things going on in my life. I don't remember like verbatim what she said, but whatever she said, it wasn't effective. Okay. I try to talk to her like, hey, can we, you know, talk or, or I try to talk to her just about all kind of things about, about how, how to problem solve. She's been here for six years and, and I tried to go to her as like a lead to get um, advice on how to do deal with certain scholars right. and then she'll tell me oh well, I just don't deal with that scholar so she's not I mean so it's just been hard from um, kind of day one to talk to her and so um, yeah okay and that's fine it, I mean I think what's settled is that you and Tomaka aren't going to be friends right that, 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 I think that's settled so yeah. then we have to get to a place where we can at least show each other respect when we're at the work absolutely and yes. so that's what I'm going to talk to her about as well Yes. Okay. Any more questions or concerns for me? <sighs> I'm just glad it's almost over. And I'm just, no, I don't have any more questions. Okay. I'm just. And I know you got to be in the most purpose room by 10 minutes. I want to make sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so so that's how that goes. Okay, so listen, this is one of them, movies and I'm not gonna let the enemy, you know. Thank you, honey. I'm not gonna let the enemy get the best of me. Like, period, point blank. Um, thank you. Good. Good. I talked to my mom yesterday. You did. I'm happy. You're happy. Good, good. I'm glad to see you smiling today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boo. So today is going to be a very good day. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. So I am just going to keep my head up no matter what. I am the new the new person on the block hopefully humility peace well respect. yes 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 and i you know what and i absolutely receive that in jesus name absolutely i receive all that oh my goodness you know trials and tribulations but i'm gonna get through it and um i'm just glad that i have my outlet to share with you all and if anybody else is going through that Maybe they could use what I'm going through to learn from it. You know, um, I'm just going to keep doing my best, put my best foot forward no matter what. And I ain't going to let nobody <laughs> knock me off or, or none of that. And if I fall, I'm going to get back up and keep it moving. So thank you so much and pray my strength in the Lord. Ooh, wow. To accept the things I cannot change, the courage the things that I can, the wisdom to know the difference. That's how I get through my day. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, the wisdom to know the difference. Hi, honey. All right. So, ooh, energy. Ooh, energy. Ooh, positive. 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 Let me get some of that sound. Mm. Here comes my little scholars. All right, got to go. Peace.